Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you happen to be here for the first time, this is how we roll on this channel. Fragrance reviews, fashion videos, lifestyle videos, as well as some vlogs. I promise, guys, I will throw in a lot of vlogs, okay? I know I've been saying vlogs, vlogs, and, they, you know, there's just too much, uh, you know, things that t tend to take over. And sometimes I just have a vlog moment and I'm like, why didn't I vlog that? So anyway, if you're here for the first time, that is what this channel is all about. Mostly fragrance reviews. Please do consider subscribing. There's also some lifestyle content there that I throw in from time to time. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and always supporting this channel. You are appreciated. Do check out my reels as well, guys. I'm getting creative with my reels. The problem with the reels is, you know, you get 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 and a minute, uh, you know, uh, video longs. But the work that goes in there is quite a lot. But I'm actually putting an effort and playing around there. So if you want to see the fun side of me, do check out my reels as well. Also, follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles. Now, today's uh, video is about 10 Latafa citruses. These are fragrances uh, from the Latafa brand that are citrusy in nature. Obviously, they are fresh. Most of them are green. Most of them are very wearable. Very little traces of Middle Easternness in them. So these are fragrances that I would say are mostly crowd pleasing in case you wanted to put your feet in there. I'm going to start with uh, the first one, which is Alda Al Magnoon. And please do note, it's the gold one. There is a black version here. This I picked up, guys, because it is a lavender forward fragrance. It does have a bit of some um, incense in there, but it is also lemony, very lemony in nature. Nature. it's a lemon delight it uh you know minus that incense and everything what you're going to get the most is lemon and this is why i've had this uh, in my collection for years this is is over three years old this bottle i just love how it's tra it translates it's not too middle eastern but very unique um it's not the sort of scent that is typical like you went to an, in a mall and everybody was smelling like that this is so different so alder al mcnoon gold was my one, one is going to be the uh, attempt at herba puree this is their version of or at least an inspiration of herba puree it is a very sweet uh fragrance it's called i am white and abiate there is four in this collection so it's important to note this one is the white one it has a white cap they have they have three more after this one this one is just called i am white okay and it is your syrupy sweet pear and vanilla but what ties it together is also that orange and the bergamot and those are at the top and they kind of of, you know you keep getting wafts of this as you wear this one so number two is going to be anna abiet i am uh, white number three number three i just want to make sure that i don't don't drop anything number three is a deep i'm very happy this is sort of making rounds now on the youtube channel this is another one uh, on the youtube content rather this is another one i've had for about um over three years as well adib is the one that comes in that big book that looks like a bible it has like, something inscripted there and this is the bottle very heavy and beautiful to look at this one guys has got your lavender as well but it also has the orange and the patchouli and the rose it is woodsy in nature but the orange here is non-relenting and i think this is what makes this one so beautiful it has just this beautiful fresh orange which is so lively and that's why i chose it uh, and i had to bring it Number here four is from their latest uh, collection this collection is about maybe three months old or so i featured the entire collection on my channel this is eternal oud and don't let the uh you know appearances uh you know get 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 you confused this has a grapefruit at the top a very lively grapefruit and a plum that is what you're going to get from this uh it, it translates to a uh also a like a fresh orchid uh there this is a 20 uh, ml um, sample there's a fresh orchid it, it, that that is you know doing a lot of talking there but it does also turn embery and it has that heliotrope there you know that cherry pie floral heliotrope so in as much as the bo bottle looks so intimidating and so woodsy woodsy this is a citrus guy so if you love citruses you can put your feet on that you probably won't uh you know get uh disappointed number five i did full reviews of these fragrances all of them in case you're interested if you just go Go to my videos this particular one is two or three videos away from this one Kasaid al sultan um is another one from latafa this is a very popular fragrance from latafa it has your fresh grapefruit with that spicy ginger there uh, it is very green in nature it also has like a tobacco uh you know dry down uh but you are definitely going to smell the greenness here uh from Kasaid uh, al sultan and a bit of like a sour grapefruit so this is also another ideal citrus from the uh latafa fragrances okay uh number six is going to be this one 
uh from the al noble i bought three and i did mention when i uh, uh, you know sort of unboxed them when, when i was reviewing this one that to uh you know uh look forward to a story time there's a story time pertaining these three fragrances there's three so far in the collection and i hope latafa keeps making them like this because this fragrance guys is just gorgeous besides just the packaging this one has uh your bergamot it is got that it also has that bitter atomizia there you're gonna feel that a little bit green uh, a little bit fresh very citrusy in nature so don't let the bottle again intimidate you at least with this one they've put a green covering so you can almost tell that it's probably going to be on the green uh side but this is very citrusy very lemony that bergamot is there and it does most of the talking and this was Sophia uh, from the al noble uh collection mm -hmm. what are we on i think we're on number seven now we're almost done guys thank you so much for sticking around thus far number seven is going to be elite just white okay elite just white uh this is another one fresh out of the uh fresh out of the shower citrus it's your citrus and your mask uh so yeah if if you that's kind of person that likes to smell that way or you're looking for a perfect gym scent or a perfect summery scent this is not gonna disappoint this does not have any traces of being middle eastern at all it smells very western and again granted i think this one is um inspired by um what is it um i've forgotten the name i've forgotten the name lacoste lacoste something uh this is what it's inspired by it's it's a very it's a cologne like kind of fragrance you know ideal i find that this is wearable for myself you know as a woman although i can see men liking this because it is perfectly unisex and take note these are fragrances that you can gift anyone anytime there's no surprises here where somebody might come back and say oh it was too middle eastern okay they they there are elements there of Bit of, bit, little bit of spices there but nothing that pulls these fragrances a lot towards being middle eastern uh, per se so that's why i thought okay let me just make this com uh, this compilation for people that care you know for such fragrances so that at least you can uh, you know have a look at that if you are looking at buying these fragrances al kaim one of the most impressive one from the latafa uh, pride collection uh, al kaim i love 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 this one i was so disappointed when i reached out for it it was leaking again like i've said to you guys if you have these testers just make sure they sit upright uh just by dropping it just one second it was leaking already i don't know why i think there is some um, faultiness here or whatever is going on but al kaim is again your grapefruit there's a lot of grapefruit it looks like latafa likes to play around with grapefruit a lot because the uh this fragrance has grapefruit it mixes with a spicy ginger i did a full review for it it's a bit herbal it's also uh, fresh but very classy this is one fragrance that if you want to gift somebody who is very particular you know purchase al kaim and it's the silver one uh from the top nine which is last but not least okay it's gonna be kashabi kashabi has also been in my collection for a long time this is a unique fragrance okay just putting my no my nose here it does smell a bit masculine but it is fresh it has a serious freshness here a double citrus so it's a combo of your lemon and your bergamot here that is what you get uh, and then the florals of course and the woods to support this and give it a bit of some longevity so kashabi is one that i'll also recommend this fragrances are very much on the affordable side so you know you can literally purchase all these in one go and you would still not spend uh let's say you would still not part with uh let's say 200 dollars or let's say 250 or depending on where you're getting them from so these are very affordable uh, fragrances very presentable and a decent quality as well now the last one is my favorite uh which is a one okay a one and this is the gold one there is a blue one the blue one is also citrusy uh, as well very citrusy but i didn't bring it here because i just wanted to deal with 10 fragrances r1 is my favorite is my utmost uh, favorite i think i'm going to tell you i'm going to show you the three favorites here in case you want to go with my nose uh, for your next purchases a one has got bergamot it's got orange as well but it's probably one of the best citruses out there it is an orange juice just smelling it like this it is very zesty it's like you've peeled an orange and it's, you, you put it on your nose beautiful with a, some some hints of spices and maybe a little bit of some honey there uh you know so yeah i had to put it here like i said there's more uh citrusy uh fragrances from the taffa but i just wanted to pull the 10 that i could recommend to you right now now in terms of what i could uh you know uh um if you want to go with my nose i would recommend this one my top three from the ones i did today are going to be this one okay uh latafa pride a uh, one uh the gold one and then al noble Sophia, this particular one and the third one i think i'm going to go with al kayem um al kayem silver yeah 
alkaim uh, the silver one these are the three recommendations that i'll give you here as the best uh citruses that i've smelled from latafa so far these don't disappoint all these fragrances that are featured today are unisex so in case you wanted to buy these fragrances for somebody or you're just a woman and you were wondering are are they wearable they're unisex they're not cloying quite long lasting very fresh very citrusy forward that sort of thing uh the one that's a bit thick and more on the green side is just this one because it's al salt and this one i wouldn't call light and fresh this one is a bit concentrated just a bit thicker than the rest of them so c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today i hope you found this list helpful in case you were looking for more wearable latafas out there or you were looking at gifting somebody latafas or you wanted to just grow your collection those are the citruses these are fragrances with no um mostly most of them don't have a middle eastern trace to them so if you buy these ones you won't disappoint get disappointed uh like this video if you like it share it if you want to share it and do subscribe if you haven't guys i would appreciate you joining the family let's meet in the comment section you let me know if you have any other uh uh, you know, uh, uh, Latafa citruses. I will bring Middle Eastern citruses as well, not just Latafa. I just had to get Latafa out of the way. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, guys, smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.